Thank you, Michael Vaz, for joining me. You had, by the way, Michael Vaz Thank you, Avi. is the Vice President of Learning and Development for a core in entire Asia Pacific. He trained thousands of people by himself and he had dozens, hundreds of trainers that are doing programs that he had a lot in making these programs, bringing more heart, more joy, more fun, and more effective learning. So I was inspired by his recent TED talk that he was kind enough to share with me. And I wanted to bring to you the beauty of his message. He's actually talking about BS. Would you believe it? So <laughs> for taking the time, tell Thank us you, a little Avi. bit about why are you so obsessed about BS? What is so for the for the sake for the sake of the learners and thank you Avi for having me and, and hosting me on this uh, on this platform. Uh, I'm really happy to be talking about this. So so the title evolved over the course of a few weeks and coming close to the date uh, when I was delivering the TEDx talk. But BS for context, anybody listening is belief systems. So I have this uh, inordinate innate desire to take any negative things in my life and turn them around. In a positive spin and i think bs was one of that so uh, i believe everybody has their bs for anybody listening and what that means is everybody has their beliefs about anything and everything in life i genuinely believe that like we have opinions that shape into hardcore beliefs about everything about what we eat about how we live about our relationships and that's what i call or that's what i refer to as your own personal bs you know what so I talk about the fact, Avi, and I hope you don't mind I'm speaking a bit more, that these thoughts that we have, uh, the more we think about them, the more we dwell on them, the more we interact with people, the more we think about them in meetings and decisions we make, they become what I call deep-seated or deep-rooted belief systems. Um, and I talk about the power of neural pathways. Every time we have a thought, a neural pathway is created. And the more we think about that thought, the more it brings us maybe a little bit of success in one area, we start to dwell on it. And what, that happen, what happens there is that neural pathway becomes so strong every time we think about it, it just becomes the way we operate. It becomes our operating system. It becomes the way we think about that particular issue. Uh, and that could be, you know, um, and that could be anything from a diet, from the way we eat, the way we exercise, um, the decisions we make. And I call that your own personal BS but I call it the belief system. So BS could serve you or it could not serve you well. So yeah. what, what would you recommend that somebody will do with their BS uh, to serve them well? Because if the BS uh, restrain you from being successful, you need to check it out. But how do I do that? If I want to have better belief system, I want to be more successful, where, where do I need to go? Where do you start, right? Yeah, where I do think you the start? starting point, the starting point is, is incredible. Um, and it's something, it talks about how we codify the idea. So let me codify this a little bit. I would invite our listeners today, or anybody watching this, to just think about any area of your life where you're not having the success you want. So that's probably the first step. And that's in anything. It's a relationship, maybe, maybe it's something that you're trying to quit for a long time, but you just can't. A habit that's, and, and this is what I said, right? Anything in life has the potential to either build us up or tear us down. It's, it's that whole saying, in front of you is fire and water, but you choose the outcome. Uh, for instance, if there's a way that I'm behaving in my life and I know it's not bringing me the right results, why do I keep doing it? That's a little bit of, um, and that's a great indicator of, of your BS. So for anybody listening or watching, take any area of your life where you're not having the results you want. Because I believe when I spoke about this, the intent was to help people. So how do we want to help them? Think about any area of your life where you're not having the results you want. And then think, what are some of those beliefs that I'm holding on to in that area of my life? And maybe that's a, and that's a great starting point to redefine some of our BS or some of our belief systems. So, I, so in other words, I need to map, if, if there's an area that doesn't go according to the way that I like, I need to map, what do I believe Correct. about that? And then look at the belief. And if the belief does not serve me, I need to check what if there's other belief that will serve me. But that alone, That's right. changing my belief, would that be impactful? 
Um, so what I often say is that's a great indicator. That's a great starting point. That's a great indicator to say, I'm look, I'm not doing well in this area. And that's admitting it is probably, you know, like we said, the first step, right? I'm not doing well in this area. Now, what are some things that I've led myself to believe in that area? I, uh, I use a phrase saying it's what you've allowed yourself to believe about yourself. So maybe that decision that I'm making in my work or personal life, it got me some, some success. But you've heard this incredible thing, right? What got you here won't get you there. And that's a great thing that says, uh, it's a great saying that just reminds you that if it was effective once, it doesn't mean it's going to be effective throughout your life. Uh, I, I, I love this story of the playground bully, right? Uh, BS starts to build from when we were children. In fact, some of the strongest be belief systems that we have today that are dictating our lives started on the playground, started in school, started with our friends and peers. And some of those friends never grew up. And <laughs> all of us have those friends in life that probably never grew up, right? Maybe that one friend or those two friends in our circle that just never grew up. Uh, and that's a great indicator that these belief systems can carry us through success or failure in life just by what we started with. Um, I talk about the playground bully which means I'm playing on the playground. I want the swing. I push another ch child off. When I'm a little kid, of course, I push this child off and I get the swing and it worked, um, right? So now what happens is I've carried that thought to become my personal BS because it worked. I tried that out when I get my first leadership title and guess what? It worked. Now I, I try that off throughout my life and it just becomes the way I operate. It becomes my operating system or my belief system. Now, at some point in life, we meet a team where that doesn't work, that doesn't fly in any, anymore. In fact, it's condemned, uh, you know, when you join a particular organization or culture, perhaps. And then I suddenly realize I'm not getting the results from something I built a long time ago. So these belief systems can start anywhere. What I want to hope to do is get people to check their BS, to look at what's not working and then saying, what do I, what, what have I allowed myself to believe about myself in that area? I hope that's a good way to put it. Fantastic. And so we need to check our BS on a constant basis because life changes as well. Yeah. Fast and rapidly. And you mentioned in your beautiful uh, talk, you mentioned three elements that yeah. help us with the BS. Um, would you share with us uh, these three elements? Sure. Um, I talk, and, and, and that's because, again, I wanted somebody, I wanted people to actually take away things. So I came up with three. The first one was start at the heart. Uh, the second was check your focus and your feed because your focus becomes your feed. And I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, as we go. Uh, and the th third one was change your words and you'll change your world or just pay attention to your words because that those start to shape the world that you're living in your world fantastic so let's go one by one on them and i'll ask you with a little, a little bit twist share with me how was it in your life that you change your belief and you use that an example how you use that to become the great success that you are in your organization. And I want to tell you that uh, people talk uh, behind your back very good things about you. So it was <laughs> amazing when I, I went to uh, train a Swiss hotel and firm, a lot of people say nice things about you. And I didn't know you said, oh, I must meet that gentleman. Thank you, Avi. That's very kind. Uh, and I hope uh, long may that continue. <laughs> but uh, but I'm I, a big belief system and a foundational belief for myself when I say start of the heart is I call those the foundational beliefs. Um, as I, and, and you mentioned, I want to thank you for all the kind things you've said, uh, but you've talked about training different leaders um, throughout my life. Now I started in the learning and development field really young. Uh, in fact, I was a 24, 25 year old training manager uh, in Dubai uh, for one of, for, for an incredible organization there. And what gives a 25 year old <laughs> kid, uh, you know, the, the wisdom and the confidence to stand in front of people and speak about leadership, right? Um, so often a lot of people's credibility comes into account, but I believe that a foundational belief of mine kept me going and not just kept me going. I, I 
I would think that I kept checking on this and building it. And today I'm at a stage where, um, and I use this very deliberately by God's grace, I'm at a stage where I constantly build that area every single day. And I realize that if I don't feed the heart level of feed, yeah, you know, the heart and soul level, and we'll talk about that as well, because I know you, you've, you, you're you an incredible trainer too, and you're an incredible speaker, and you speak a lot about body, soul, spirit. So we'll get into that. But I believe if you don't feed that foundational system every day, then it's going to change the way you make decisions in the day. It's going to change the way you speak. It's going to change every time you get up and communicate. So those foundational beliefs, start at the heart, can be everything. Uh, I've experienced many different things in my life or di many different moments. In fact, I experience them every day. I wanted to speak, I wanted this topic to go to the people that are living life. And this is an important one to remember. I don't want it, you know, it, the, the talk was not designed to just meet the needs of one particular segment or one particular innovator. It was meant to go out to the common man who I have love and respect for, for the mom that's that's slogging away to send their kids to school, for the dad that's working two jobs, for the CEO that doesn't get to see their children because they're trying to make a success for their family and for their lives. So I believe the message is, is literally for anybody at any level of their life because the whole idea is, and again, it's not giving you the principles of success. It's saying, go back and check what you believe at the heart level. See, for me, a heart level is my faith. And I'll share one with you. It's the faith. It's the faith saying that I have a good God looking after me, putting me in the right rooms, giving me the word to say. And a lot of people will roll their eyes at that. And I get that. You know, even in this, even in this, uh, even in this interview, you get a few people that might go, mm, not sure what to think now. But that's the belief that stayed true and that brought me success no matter what at the age of 24 it give you some confidence, today. it give you some confidence level that it you absolutely and, did and extend that what about the cynics that say hey michael you were very lucky you met good people you got the chance yeah. but i have a toxic boss and i have all this toxicity around me and i really want to yeah. do with the heart and i have good beliefs but it doesn't work what do i do then i love that avi um for me again go back to the foundational beliefs i always say when i say start with the heart when we see when we deal with a toxic boss a lot of the times it goes back sometimes you know don't forget i don't advise you to go and try and change other people right uh that's not what you're here to do that's not what we put on the planet for but we are here to live a life and uh, that was that was chosen for us that was given us um you talk a lot about uh, the race I spoke about the race in this in this TED talk. I said, you know, it, it's so funny that people actually I had a, I got to tell you about this. I had an Instagram live event after the TED talk with some young leaders. And this young leader said to me, you know, when you talked about everybody's born a champion, I rolled my eyes too. <laughs> and he said, that's because I'm ultra competitive and I want to win at everything. And I said, well, so I laughed, you know, I, I just laughed really hard. I said, I said, think about everybody who's ultra competitive and wants to win. Hey, you know, as a people, a lot of us go through that ultra competitiveness and wanting to win. But where do you suppose that came from? That was put in you to go do great things with. Um, see, what I want to remind people is you're not here on this planet living this life by chance. You were a winner. You were born a winner. You are a champion with a set of unique gifts and abilities only for you to make a little imprint on this life before you, before you take off. 